Hello Team Aries, it's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot reading. I hope you're all well and safe. So Aries, this is your Love Tarot reading. If there's anything else that is coming up intuitively, I will let you know, okay? I will extend this reading. You are one of the signs that I pick to do an extended reading for. And a lot of people tell me my extendeds feel like personals, so I will do an extended reading about the scenarios that come up. So if anything resonates with you, you can follow me down below after this video. It's in the description box down below. You just click on the link, okay? And I made it affordable for everyone. So let's get into it. So Aries, I feel like you are working on securing your finances. Um, you're securing possibly a new home for you, okay? You're on the verge of manifesting something that will, like, how should I say, Sub securing something of value, okay? And you're at this point in your love life where it's like, you don't want to, um, you, you want something of substance, okay? You're not messing around. You don't want to waste your time is what I'm getting, okay? But let's see what energies you're in. Spirit, what energies is um aries in okay we got the moon card oh and by the way guys i'm gonna get into the other person whoever is thinking about you okay yeah <laughs> i like this energy aries we got the moon card cancer energy magician virgo or gemini okay so aries this is about you. Uh, you know what it feels like? Okay. There is a part of your emotions that you have not processed. Okay. There's something here. This is the magician and the moon together. Okay. So there is something that has to do with whatever you're trying to manifest that is related to your emotionals. Emotionals. Oh my God, I feel like Mercury is still in retrograde. Emotionals, yeah. Um, emotional balance, okay? Because when you don't process your emotions, it's hard for you to manifest what it is that you want, okay? But you're in the midst of manifestation. And Spirit is saying here, you have to focus on some part of your emotions, okay? We'll get into that later. Um, but this is about you and the deep feelings you have that have not come to the surface, okay? This also has to do with you manifesting your Ten of Cups, okay? Emotional fulfillment, collective emotional fulfillment, okay? Between you and someone else or possibly, you know, bringing a family together, uh, building a family, okay? So this is the Ten of Cups. Now, family doesn't have to necessarily be kids, you guys. Family could just be partnership between uh, two people, okay? Or dogs or animals or cats, whatever it is, right? So I feel like a lot of you are working on that and you're trying to on this manifestation, you're trying to figure out, okay, so what do I do? What's my next actions? Okay. Empire, tell me. Okay. Because there's, I feel like there's a lot that you're doing with this manifestation and the moon. Okay. This could also be you're dabbling in some type of magic Aries. Okay. Like the esoteric arts with the moon here and the magician. Okay. Awesome. But, um, I feel like a lot of you this has a lot to do uh, with the balance of your emotional needs and what you feel secure with because security is coming up really strong for you. Like, how would I feel secure? What type of a relationship would I feel secure in? Okay, so let's see. Anything else, Spirit, you want to say about this before we go into the other person? So, Palace of Wands. Okay, Ten of Swords. So, Aries, I feel like when it comes to the emotional part, there is definitely something that you have to end in order for you to manifest what you want, 
okay? There is something that you have to end. It feels like you're on the verge of ending it, but it hasn't closed out yet. And this is really affecting your inspiration when it has to do with manifesting what you want, okay? So I just heard you there's you feel idle, okay? You feel idle. Um I just heard red flags. So some of you might be seeing, you know, might be receiving red flags from someone, okay? Or you received red flags, so you're just like, okay, I don't want to be a part of this, and you just pulled back your energy, okay? So maybe you saw something in someone that you're like, that's a red flag. I don't want to do this, okay? So let's see about this person who is... Whose mind is Aries on, okay? Whose mind spirit is Aries on? I mean, yeah. Let us see. I'm seeing the letter H, okay? Wow. Okay, we got your energy up in here, Aries. We got Leo. Um, wow, we got a lot of signs here. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So, this is somebody, okay, Aries, that they keep going back and forth about what they want from you, okay? What it is that should happen between you and them, okay? This person, I feel like some of you, this could be an in and out connection, on and off, in and out. Whoever this person is, is not happy about the way things panned out between you two, okay? Um, the number eight is significant, okay? Or you might be seeing 888, okay? Which tells me this is a cycle, okay? So some of you might be repeating a cycle with someone. And this person right now, I feel like there's parts of their ego that they're trying to hold back when it comes to connecting with you, okay? Their ego has been present in the situation, but they do view you as an empress, okay? So they think that you're you're amazing. They think that you're abundant. They doesn't matter what gender you are, Aries, okay? This is for all <laughs> all genders, okay? Um this is about someone here who feels like um Oh, okay. This is what I heard. They have to be on, they're on pins and needles when they're around you. Like they're on how pins and needles. How do you say this? Spirit, help me out here. Um, they have to be on their tippy toes around you, Aries. I don't know what you said or did with this person, but you do have precedence over this person. Okay. They see you as someone important and special is what I'm getting. But at this time, I feel like this person, um, we got the full card again, okay? And I remember in your last reading, this is might be the same person that wants their freedom, okay? There's something about freedom here. There's something about ego. And also, there is something about an attachment. So they have some type of an attachment when it has to do an unhealthy attachment. It could also be codependency that they have when it comes to connections, like to commitment and so forth, okay? But I want to see how this person truly feels about you, okay? And we'll get into advice and so forth. The death card here. Scorpio and the star. Okay. Five of pentacles. And the five of... Um, wands okay five is a significant number so what this is telling me is that you might have ended this Aries this person doesn't think it's over they don't want it to be over they think that you can change it we got scorpionic energy right here um
this person wants to heal whatever needs to be healed between you two, okay? This person sees you as the star, okay? I'm going to cover this because apparently we can't have that kind of stuff here on YouTube. So this is about this person has fears of abandonment is what I'm seeing. So it's kind of like this person could have abandoned you, Aries, in some way. Um, and now it's like they feel abandoned by you, okay? Um, there is definitely some type of interference. I feel like there's other people in the mix, okay? I'm going to check what this is because this is... This is Okay, this is uh, damage. This is damage from the past. So I don't know what happened to this person in the past. I just heard runaway bride. So they could have been left like before their wedding or when they were engaged by somebody. It doesn't have to be a bride. It could be a groom. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, yeah. There's something to do with this person domestically, okay? So there's something domestic that happened in the past. This is the 1111 card, Aries, that is keeping this person from having a, some sort of commitment partnership with you, okay? Now, I don't know if you want this person, Aries. Let me know in the comments if you're done or not. But this person truly feels like it's not over between you two. They want something to change. Okay, um, I'm also going to see what else is coming in for you, actually. Let's see. Okay, so we'll get into this person um, in the extended, but I feel like this person tr truly sees you as, I just heard, the guiding light. So Aries, those of you who are like a light for someone, I'm really getting that very strongly this this person sees you as the guiding light. They do want some type of partnership with you, but I feel like the dynamic is not the same. So let's see what else is coming in for you, Aries, okay? I just want to let you all know, for those of you, um, this, this is a timeless tarot reading, and also there's a lot of probabilities. Not everything is black and white in energy, okay? So some of you might have more than one choice at the same time, okay? Um, I just want to clarify that because some people don't know that. As a channel myself and an Akashic reader, I, I really have seen that, okay? For myself and others, for my clients, okay? And we'll go through all the probabilities in the extended, okay? So there's definitely... All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Aries, there's somebody who is newer in your environment, okay? This could be somebody who's younger than you. It could be somebody who's much younger than you, okay? Age is just a number. Keep that in mind, okay? I know everybody has different beliefs, but to me, it's just a number, okay? But this person is very connected to you um, so through the soul, okay? I feel like when you, you like communicating with this person, and some of you, um, you might have not met this person yet, but you are to meet them. You could meet them online um, or in an organization is what I'm hearing. This is somebody who's... Um, you know what it feels like, Aries? You could have been dealing with somebody who is very slow, okay? Very slow with their actions. Because I'm seeing someone who's like this person. Um, they're very slow with their actions. They're kind of like wishy-washy. But you're meeting someone here if you already have not, okay? This person is going to come through as like someone who... Um, really wants to get to know you on the deeper level, okay? And this person is somebody who is, you know, um, like they express themselves, you know? They're not scared to be like uh, 
expressive with their emotions or their feelings. And this is going to be a surprise for you, okay? I see this person really trying to get to know you better. So you might feel like this is aggressive energy, okay? But I do see that this person is someone who does care about you, okay? This is interesting. Um, you know what I just got, Aries? This person right here, you have a lot of karma with them. And this person brings out your anger is what I'm hearing, okay? So that is definitely... So this person triggers your anger, okay? So let's see how this person feels about you. Okay. Okay. So Aries, this person sees you as defensive. They see you as you might... Like they might view you as heartbroken. So there's something um, like you need healing, okay? This person views you like that. And I feel that your defenses are up and you're trying to fight this. So if you haven't met this person yet, they definitely are a probability, a prospect in like a romantic prospect, this person. that You might start off as friends with this person, but this person is seeing you as defenses. Your defenses are up, okay? Um, even though it's like they know this person is really interesting because I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, they're spiritual and they're quite intuitive. So it's like even though you're showing them like, hey, you know, I'm going to block you. <laughs> like you're blocking yourself from this person, from the real essence of you, Aries. They see right through you. And they see that you are really like this passionate, adventurous person, but you're not showing it to them. Like you're not bringing out your real self. And it's because you feel, because they think you are stuck in the... um of the eight of swords energy like you're stuck in the heartache from the past okay you're stuck in the disappointments of the past okay spirit what do you want to tell aries okay yeah aries okay what's coming up okay what is blocking you okay right now which we'll get into in the extended um, is some type of deceit, betrayal from the past, okay, that you're having issues with trusting people, okay, you're having issues with trust, okay, this is blocking your commitment house, and it's, it's also blocking this new love that is going to come in for you, okay, this is the ace of cups, so there is something here, from the past that you need to forgive or, you know, it's it kind of feels like you're not open to this new love. Okay, I feel like you're closed off Aries, to be honest. And you guys know that I am very straight and blunt, okay? You're really blocking um, your romantic life right now, Aries. I want you to know that. Okay, we got all signs here. We also got Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, um, this is Scorpio. Okay. Um, this tr person truly wants to get to know you. We'll get into that. What's going to happen between you two. For others of you, um, we're going to get into, I mean, we're also going to get into this person. Okay. I don't see anything. I'll still go into money and um, career stuff in the extended, but there's someone here that truly wants to be with you. This person wants to be with you. This person wants to be with you. So you got two people, Aries. Um, I don't know if you have Scorpio placements, but Scorpio got something similar. So watch that video, make sure. And um, I'm going to tell you the the what intuitively I'm getting, okay? I'm seeing the letter D, like David, um, Dustin, Okay, um, it could be anything with the letter D. I'm seeing the number, um, I mean, the letter T. 
okay? I'm seeing the letter E. I'm seeing the letter S. I am seeing um, 222. I'm also seeing 000. I know that's a number you don't really see a lot, but um, I'm also getting ground zero. I don't know if that has to do with some significance. I'm seeing somebody from the Marines here. I'm seeing somebody in um, active duty. Okay, so it could be anything in the military. Um, I'm also seeing somebody in legal, like law. I'm also seeing somebody who is in, um, I know this is um, very specific, something to do with animals, okay? Something to do with the care of animals or something like that. And um, I'm also seeing someone do healing with hands, okay? So whatever kind of healing there is with hands, massage therapy, uh, Reiki, whatever it is, okay? Um, I'm seeing the color red, okay? Red is significant, and I'm also seeing somebody with a snake, okay? So either someone owns a snake or they have a snake tattoo on them or python, I'm getting. Um, there's somebody here that um, has something green is significant, okay? Green, the color green, okay? Um, and I'm also seeing a lighthouse, okay? Um, I'm also seeing the color blue, okay? So um, I'm also seeing a, a truck, okay? So a truck might be significant. Either you drive one or the person. I'm also getting construction. Um, somebody here has like a beard or a goatee, okay? A beard or a goatee um, that is like very prominent coming up, okay? All right, guys, and the color yellow, the color yellow. Okay. <laughs> All right, Aries, I hope that this has helped you. Um, join me in the extended. If any of this resonates with you, we'll be getting into predictions, what's going to happen, and also intuitive advice, spiritual advice from spirit. Um, I wish you all the best, Aries, and peace out.